Hello, I'm Starla Harden with the University of Tennessee Extension. I'm your Murray County Family and Consumer Sciences agent, and I'm bringing you this week's recipe of the week. This week, we're gonna focus on soups. Now, I know it's getting warmer outside and you don't really think of this as soup season, but I happen to think that soups are a great choice for our families year round. Uh, nothing makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside like a good bowl of soup. Uh, it's also very nutritious, especially if you make it yourself because you can control what ingredients go in. Uh, it also is very economical. Uh, soups have relatively inexpensive ingredients to start with, plus one pot will feed an entire family. So for that reason alone, it's a great choice. The recipe I'm gonna share with you tonight is another formula type recipe, which means that we can use lots of different ingredients that we happen to have on hand. Uh, and so it makes it a different soup every time you use this recipe. First, I wanna talk about the seven different steps or seven different things that we need in order to make a soup. So first we're gonna start with an oil. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of canola oil in my soup pot. And so that's actually already been done, so you don't have to watch me measure. But you could use olive oil or any other type of oil that you happen to have on hand. To that olive oil, I'm going to add one chopped onion. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my soup pot and let that start cooking now. Next, we want to choose our vegetables. Now, you know if I said this was gonna be a healthful soup recipe, we're gonna want you to put lots of vegetables in. We would like for you to use two to three cups of vegetables. And so tonight, what I'm gonna be using is some zucchini squash. I have some carrots, and I also have some bell peppers. And I've cut those up and just filled my bowl so that I knew when I had enough vegetables. Now, while we're talking about vegetables, of course you can use any vegetables that you want. This would be great with broccoli and cauliflower with celery, whatever vegetables you have on hand. But let me remi remind you to wash those vegetables before you chop them up. Very important to wash those under running water. Um, if you are using pre-packaged vegetables like I did with my carrots tonight, they came in a package that said uh, already pre-washed and ready to eat. If you have vegetables that say that, then there's no need to wash them again. They're ready for you to go ahead and chop and use. Know that you can also use frozen vegetables. So again, just two or three cups of frozen vegetables would work or canned vegetables. If you choose to use canned vegetables, we recommend that you drain the water off of those, especially if they are not a low sodium version. Uh, and that will help take care of some of the salt that we find in our canned vegetables. Next, we're gonna select um, a starch. And tonight for the starch, what I'm gonna use is actually lentils. And so I don't know if many of you cook with lentils. I really like them. Uh, lentils um, come in a dry form. They're in a bag. You find them in the dried bean section. But they're very small and so they cook very quickly. So they're gonna cook in the same amount of time the soup will cook, which means they're gonna be just fine for our soup for tonight. What I couldn't use is like dried beans, dried pinto beans, because those would take too long uh, to cook. However, I could use canned uh, pinto beans. I could also use for the starch a pasta, preferably whole wheat, or a brown rice. So any of those would be acceptable choices uh, for the soup. Then you're gonna choose a protein. And the protein uh, could be chicken, could be beef, could be pork, it could be raw, it could be pre-cooked, it could also be canned. Um, so you could also uh, use a can of chicken if that's something that you've got in your pantry right now. Uh, additionally, if you want this to be a vegetarian dish, it could be beans. You could also use a cup of cheese. So if you were gonna make a broccoli, uh, creamy broccoli soup, you'd use cheese as your protein. Then you need to choose your tomato base or your uh, broth. For me, it's gonna be tomatoes. I hear those onions sizzling, so I'm gonna turn them down a little. But for your broth, you need one quart of liquid. That could be um, crushed tomatoes with water added, which is what, uh, what I'm using tonight. So I used a can of crushed tomatoes and then filled up uh, my container till it was four quart, till it was four cups or a quart. You could also use chicken broth, you could use beef broth, you could use vegetable broth. 
You can also use milk, but you need four cups, okay? Uh, and then you're gonna have some seasoning. So you can choose your seasonings. If you're gonna use a dried seasoning like I am, I'm using uh, two teaspoons of seasoning and I decided to split that between rosemary and basil. But you can choose any spices that you like or that you have uh, on hand. So, after the onions are cooking and it sounds like they are, all we're gonna do is add all of these ingredients to the pot. We're gonna put a lid on it. We're gonna turn it down and let it simmer for 20 to 30 minutes. Now, if I was gonna use fresh uh, herbs, I would wait until about the last five minutes of cooking time to add those. But since I'm using dried, I'm gonna throw those in with everything else. So I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. Well, the soup's been cooking for a few minutes. It's almost ready and it looks delicious to me. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. If you have, you can find a written copy of the recipe at the UT TSU Extension Murray County Facebook page. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll let me know if you use this particular recipe and what ingredients you choose to put into your soup. I also want to give a special shout out to my friends at Columbia Parks and Rec and Spring Hill Parks and Rec who have been sharing these videos on their Facebook sites as well. And especially want to thank Columbia Parks and Rec because it was actually their idea that I made these videos in the first place. So thank you for joining and I'll see you next week.